In this video, I'm going to walk you through a turbo rebuild for a TDO4 9B from a Mitsubishi Mighty, Mighty Max turbo diesel. Before starting the build, make sure that you put the rear seal in the bearing housing to make sure that it seats properly and has minimal gap. Now you can insert the front bearing and put oil on it so that you have plenty of lubrication for startup. And make sure it spins. Here's our assembly that Ian balanced for me. This is a 20T upgrade, so the compressor wheel is 47 millimeter by 58, and the turbine is 45 by 52. This is balanced as an assembly, so I have to line it up when I install it, or when I tighten the compressor nut down. Here I forgot that I had to put the piston ring seal on after the, I put the deflector on, otherwise it's much harder to get on. If you did this wrong and put the seal on first, then you can remove it just like I showed you by spreading the gap. When inserting the thrust collar, make sure you keep an eye where the seal is so that you can Make sure it's going in properly and move it from side to side until it goes in. You can use a pick to push the seal in if you need to. Next, insert the thrust spacer and then the thrust bearing. This is our two oil port thrust bearing. This is an upgraded thrust bearing which is designed for higher boost levels and mostly abuse. So if you need this rebuild kit we do sell it so I'll link to that in the description box. Next insert the rubber o-ring and make sure you oil the o-ring so that the uh, seal plate goes in much easier. So install your seal plate. It was kind of hard for me to hold the camera and press this in, so I had to mostly do that off camera. Next, install the C-clip. You need to have a pair of needle nose pliers that you ground down for this project because it's pretty hard to do it otherwise. And then insert the rear bearing and make sure you add plenty of oil. Next, insert the rear piston ring seal. The main idea here is just to spread the gap over the shaft so that it goes down evenly. The mistake people commonly make is they try and push one end over the shaft at a time and they end up bending the seal, causing a problem to where the seal will not sit properly and usually causes a bind and causes it to melt on the shaft. Just be patient as you're installing this part. Next, install the heat shield. The TDO4 series has three or four different style heat shields, so make sure you use uh, the correct one. If anything, use the original. And spin the shaft and pop it in. And install, or put some Loctite on the shaft so that the nut won't come, come off in case 
of inertia from uh, the speed slowing down and add one fourth turn uh, to tighten the compressor nut. And also make sure that you line up your balance marks. And install the compressor housing o-ring. And add plenty of oil on the compressor housing o-ring so that it goes much easier into the compressor housing and install the C-clip on that holds the compressor housing to the bearing housing. And make sure you pry it back into place so it's secure. Here's where I ported the turbine housing. This turbine housing, or this turbo is like 20 years old, so it had a lot of rust in it. And I also wanted to show you the machine work I did for the turbine shaft. Because this was a TDO4 or TD, yeah, it's a TDO4 turbine, so we made it four millimeter or five millimeters larger approximately, and line up the dowel pin for the bearing housing and turbine housing, and install the V band clamp. This is a 10 millimeter nut, so use the socket on it and the nuts a lock nut so make sure you use the original nut so here's the finished product if you have more questions you can always comment them below or ask me at turbolab america at gmail this is a pretty fun project it did require some cnc machine work and some manual machine work on the turbine housing so i wanted to uh, share that with you and i was pretty proud of this job and let me know what you guys think of this project. On a Volvo, people have made 325 uh, horsepower and over 400 foot-pounds of torque on the 19T. But this turbo is a little bit bigger, so we can expect more horsepower out of this turbo. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one.